Good day. And welcome to the first of a series of five minute video presentations that will be produced by the Standards and Interoperability Lab Asia. In our first video, let's get familiar with SIL Asia. With the advent of universal health coverage, everyone should be able to get health services from any health facility anytime and anywhere. This forms a web of interactions between patients and health facilities. And this web can only be realized if the systems being used by facilities are interoperable. Interoperability is a vital tool to have universal health coverage. The Asia eHealth Information Network or AHAN has been in the forefront of ICT use for health care in the Asia-Pacific region. AHAN is an organization of digital health experts, practitioners, ministries of health and IT groups. It is a peer learning network with the aim of improving the e-health capacities of countries in the region. AHAN promotes the use of the GAPS framework. The GAPS framework indicates that the foundational components of successful digital health are governance, architecture, program management, and standards and interoperability. For standards and interoperability, one of the efforts of AHIN is to develop an interoperability lab similar to the Medic Lab or the Gembi Lab. Hence, together with the Asian Development Bank, AHIN formed the Standards and Interoperability Lab Asia. SIL Asia was established to be the reference health interoperability lab in the region. As an interoperability lab, SIL Asia is a place where technologies can be tested, and there will be a healthy discussion of ideas. It is a safe space where government, industry and academe can converge and discuss matters on digital health and interoperability. What are the functions of an interoperability laboratory? For SIL Asia, we refer to our functions as the four C's. Create capacity development, collaborations, and community development. Create. As its primary role, SIL Asia is tasked to create an ecosystem where interoperability can flourish. SIL Asia is working on knowledge materials, starter toolkits, briefers and publications and prototypes that promote standards and interoperability. The lab is regularly creating briefers, blogs, and publications with the goal of increasing awareness to standards and interoperability in the region. We have also been testing technologies and how they can be used to improve digital health integration. Capacity Development SIL Asia is providing capacity development across the region. It has organized workshops and deep dives on standards and interoperability use. Aside from the actual workshop materials, the lab also publishes workshop manuals to encourage countries and organizations to replicate these workshops. SIL Asia also accepts internships to our laboratory. In the near future, the lab is working on organizing the first ever Fire Connectathon in the Philippines. We are also working on releasing 5-minute videos to further increase digital health knowledge and capacity. Collaborate The lab is collaborating with ministries of health across the region to provide technical support and increase their digital health capacity. Globally, the lab is partnering with experts from organizations like IHE or HL7 to be able to bring their expertise to the region as common public goods. Community development. As we have seen in the AHAN experience, it is important for countries to learn from the successes and experiences of other countries. Peer-to-peer -peer learning exchange is vital, hence to promote this, SIL Asia is supporting the formation of communities of practices. So far, the lab is actively supporting the formation of an HL7 fire community of practice in the region. We are also working with AHAN on the formation of the Community of Interoperability Labs. 
Since our inception three years ago, the lab has already provided support to over a dozen countries across Asia Pacific. The support includes technical assistance, capacity development, workshops and peer-to-peer -peer knowledge exchange. The lab is also working on providing support for the establishment of interoperability laboratories on some countries across the region. By the third quarter of this year, we are targeting to expand our services and partner with countries at the Central Asia region. So that is SIL Asia for you. Hopefully you learned something about the lab, and we are looking forward to collaborate with you. For more information you may visit the lab website at www.sil-asia.org. You may also email our technical director, philip, at phil at sil-asia.org. Thank you until the next 5-minute video.